Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick at Holy Shepherd Lutheran Church. Today is Saturday, December the 9th. I'm Deaconess Intern Claire. We are doing uh, Lutheran Service Book, page 295, The Morning Devotion. If you'd like to turn there now and join us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, and we are doing Isaiah chapter 26 today. We're doing verses 1 through, I think, 13. In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God makes salvation its walls and ramparts. Open the gates that the righteous nation may enter, the nation that keeps faith. You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord is the rock of eternal. He humbles those who dwell on high. He lays the lofty city low. He levels it to the ground and casts it down to the dust. Feet trample it down, the feet of the oppressed, the footsteps of the poor. The path of the righteous is level. O upright one, you make the way of the righteous smooth. Yes, Lord, walking in the way of your laws, we wait for you. Your name and renown are the desire of our hearts. My soul yearns for you in the night, and the morning my spirit longs for you. When your judgments come upon the earth, the people of the world learn righteousness. Though grace is shown to the wicked, they do not learn righteousness. Even in the land of uprightness, they go on doing evil and regard not the majesty of the Lord. O Lord, your hand is lifted high, but they do not see it. Let them see your zeal for your people and be put to shame. Let the fire reserved for your enemies consume them. Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. O Lord, our God, other lords beside you have ruled over us, but your name alone do we honor. All right, and we'll stop there. So um, Isaiah is talking about, well, this is a continuation of what's been going on in the previous few chapters of Isaiah where God's people have defeated an enemy. And we're not sure who the enemy is. Some speculate that it might be Moab, like it was a, a smaller scale war, not the typical Assyria, Babylon that we hear about so much. But you know, Israel was always dealing with um, its other surrounding neighbors too, of which it didn't have a good relationship. And there were skirmishes and battles and things that took place. And so this is a song of praise which was common to sing after God's people had defeated an enemy. So you may remember that uh, when they come out of Egypt, after they go through the Red Sea, there's the song of Moses in which he exalts God and praises God for deliverance. And that's what's also happening here. You have mention of a city uh, and then salvation, ramparts and walls. This could mean a couple of different things. You know, it can mean that the people are safe and secure in the city. It can mean that God builds up the city. Uh, it could mean that uh, the people within the city um, are the people that God protects. And uh, then, of course, you have this theme that, that's very common for Advent, uh, open the gates that the righteous, righteous nation may enter. You know, we think of the city opening its gates when, when Jesus comes to Jerusalem on Palm Sunday or when a king like David comes into the city uh, in a victory parade after defeating an enemy outside the city, and that the city opens its gates to welcome home and victorious celebration its, um, its victorious king. And, and so that's a theme of the Old Testament. It's a theme with, uh, with Jesus. And, uh, it, you know, in a sense, even Revelation talks about uh, a walled city in, in heaven and, uh, and gates that are always open. Uh, because, you know, you would keep your gates closed to keep the enemy out, but, but in the age to come, there is no enemy, and so the symbolism of the gates always being open suggests that uh, there is no reason to have any fear, that uh, the gates can always remain open because God has conquered all enemies. And, and of course, we remember as we approach the season of Christmas that the incarnation means that God is coming to conquer the enemy of sin, uh, that God will become flesh, and that uh, because he becomes flesh, he will now be susceptible to death. And that is his mission to come and to shed his blood 
to die for sin, that the baby in the manger will grow up to become um, the man on the cross who, who dies and, and who gives his life for us. All right, we continue now as we pray together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank, thank you, my Lord. Heavenly Father, through thank Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And, and I, I pray, pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All right, Claire, what announcements do you have for us today? Well, um, we're having our, grief, our uh, special session of Grief Share this morning at 1030, Surviving the Holidays. So if you would like to come out for an excellent curriculum and just some time to kind of talk about how difficult the holidays can be if we're away from loved ones or if we've lost some of them, again, that's at 1030 today. Tomorrow we have Sunday school at 915, followed by worship at 1030, and we do have confirmation. All right, and then Monday night is our final adult instruction class at Holy Shepherd, so we're excited about that. And uh, then, let's see, we have Women's Bible Study next week on Tuesday? Yes. At uh, 1 p.m. Uh, Christmas party is coming up a week from today, 6.30 p.m. here at Holy Shepherd. Bring a dish to share. Bring a, uh, a white elephant gift, and uh, we will we'll celebrate uh, the coming of the Lord. And then this Wednesday, we have our second midweek Advent service, uh, come at 6 p.m. for the supper, 7 p.m. for evening prayer service. Uh, Daria is going to be accompanying again on piano, so it's, very, uh, it's a very beautiful service. Uh, it's a great for an evening service, and we, and we hope that you can come and, uh, and join us. And then Christmas Eve service this year will be at 5 p.m. And then tomorrow we have uh, class two of our Bible study about Lutheranism during the Third Reich. So we had great attendance last week. Looking forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. We're going to be getting into um, the scientific uh, basis that people found for anti-Semitism, and we're going to be looking at that. So it's uh, people oftentimes tend to deify science and, and make it into something great, and we're going to show, well, that's not a good idea, and, and here's what the ramifications can, of that uh, were, you know, some uh, 70 years ago. So God bless you. Thank you for watching. We will see you tomorrow.